Good morning. Uh, so today, continuing with um, Snippet Pixie Dev, um, we're going to be filling out um, the main list snippets screen. Uh, in my last video, got to the point of in a list of snippets, very raw. Um, and now we need to make it pretty. So we've got this at the moment. And uh, let's take that to the ID. And I still need to fix that. One day I'm going to fix up this edge. But here we go. Um, so we've got a list of snippets uh, when we have some. Um, now we need to add some functionality here, basically, um, and some styling. And there's none there at the moment. All we do is put a paragraph out with abbreviation and snippet body. Um, and now we need to start doing things. So I think um, I think I'm, for the moment I'm going to continue on my sort of plan of merging the existing snippet pixie settings and search and paste windows so just to recap um, in snippet pixie classic we have a proper settings window um, where you can pick um, where you can pick a, a snippet and it shows on the right hand side and then you can edit it there there and then you can even remove it straight away as well um, and of course it has a toolbar with add and search and all this kind of stuff um, but there's also a search and paste window um, which comes up usually with a hotkey um, and here you can start um, searching for stuff and then you can select it and when you select it it pastes um, into whatever's behind what whatever was the last thing that you um you were in um, and i'm thinking that maybe what i'll do is basically have my settings page as such just be an extension of this um, so the main page will basically look similar to this um, but also have um, a couple of buttons uh, somewhere for doing add snippet um, and to get to the settings um, as well as being um, a search box right at the top and then a list and then in theory we'll have some means of uh, we'll probably have like an edit button at the end maybe a delete button I might make it so that you have to go into edit mode to delete just for safety um, but we'll see. Um, I think that will do. It'll make it a lot simpler to work on. Yeah, I think so. So let's go with that for the moment. Um, and we can always switch it out later if we decide we need to have a more sort of classic setup, um, but we can use the basics. We can use whatever we develop for this, for this in the future. If we actually just uh, abandon it as such for the main settings page. So um, there's a few things we need to do here then. Um, let's get to the point where um, we can select well there's a few things <laughs> we kind of want to search as well and we want to be able to select individual rows and put buttons on them and things like that so we're going to have quite a Interesting little component there. I'll be in, yeah, okay. 
So let's, okay, the key thing I want to get here, I think, is search first. Um, so let's do that. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't think I've done It'll be a dynamic search of the snippets. OK, let's start with um, we're going to need an input. So we already have an input component, although this is going to be a search component. We'll start with input. Um, so that will that gives us that, and we're going to want to focus that on entry. So we need to do an auto focus thing, really, don't we? Yeah. So let's do that. So let's create a autofocus action. Now I've got to remember the syntax for this. <clears throat> so export function, we'll call it autofocus. Yes, thank you very much. And we get a node and I think I need to look at the docs, but I think it's something like, I think you would call it params or something. But let's go look at the docs. <clears throat> so in Svelte, you can have that actions that you add to a component. Um, and let's see if it's in the tutorial because that'd be easiest. And it's just little bits of functionality. Bindings. Stores, motion, transitions, animations, actions. There we go. Node. I mean, that's all I actually need. Node. I don't need params at the moment, but I believe you can do params of some sort, so I'll leave that out. Um, so you basically get a node and you do something with it. And then on the component, you just do like use and then uh, like that. It's the click outside thing there. I don't know what that's doing. Okay. So I don't need a second parameter then. I wonder what the second adding parameters. <laughs> okay. Light turns in big, I could take an argument which the action function will be called with alongside the element it belongs to. Here we use a mongrel's action that fires an event with the same name whenever the user presses and holds the button for a given duration right now. OK. Right, OK. Yeah, I don't need that at the moment. That's what they're doing there. Yeah, OK, that's fine. Don't need that. So we will take out the params. 
Um, and I think this is just focus. Yeah. Try that. So in a list, right? Oh, now don't th think, don't think it will work. On a custom component, but we'll see. Don't think it will you'd allow it, will it? Do that. Yeah, okay. Boing. Okay, so we'll take that out. Um, and we will have a pram on it. And then here we'll do export let auto focus equals false. Oh, that's going to be interesting. How do you do that? Oh, this is where I'm going to need the params, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. Uh, so, here, I uh, will say enabled. If enabled. Nice and simple little switch there, hopefully. Um, and then here, on the input, use autofocus equals Autofocus. Oh, I wonder. I'm going to try something in a minute and see whether that. Um, oops. Got to do an import. I wonder if that. Um, having it named the same, I wonder whether that will do the, the switch automatically for the prams. I doubt it though. We'll see. I might not need the pram at all. We'll find out in a minute. I'm going to try that. That's going to be interesting. Quick check. Okay. Right, so at the moment, we're importing that autofocus um, function. Um, and we're going to use it here, which is problematic. Um... Let's do, oh, okay, I'm going to have to rename them because it's a clash at the moment. You won't like that. We'll do that. Okay, so I can't do the namey thing. Uh, so that's fine, though. Try that. 
Okay, so it's false at the moment. Oh, I didn't rename the use. So here, change that to focus. And I don't know whether... Oh, we did it, look. Maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Let's, let's turn it off and see whether it um, changes the uh, focus. Can't, I probably can't really tell because... I know it did work here. Yeah, like, so when I go in there, that's not focused. Whereas if I put a focus here um, and save that, let the thingy do its reboot and it's focused. That's cool. Great. Okay, that'll be handy for when we basically do a, um, a subcomponent. <laughs> We're going to probably um, create a search box or some sort of search input or something, um, which like has a search icon and all this kind of stuff. Um, although, Having said that, what we could do is Export let. Uh, let's go really loosey goosey and do this. I was going to put search as a parameter there. But I don't need to, do I? Anyway, we'll do that. Uh, now, I don't know whether this will work or not. I know there's a there's a new way of doing things in the latest spell I'll have to look up. But that might cause problems. But anyway, so if we do that, does it break? Okay. Yeah, two-way binding. Now I know something's just changed on that recently. Um, is it in there? Let's go in the docs and do a search. Now, I've used this before, but I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I can't do the dynamic stuff there. But there is a new one, isn't there?
And I've not found it. Okay. Have a quick look at this. See, I thought Oh, I was using bind this was not I was using custom ones. I was using Svelte component before, not element. This is the new thing. All right, but I can't do two way binding. That's right. Okay, so you can change the tag. But I can't do Okay, so I'm going to have to conditionally render. Okay, that's fine. All right, that means I can do um, make it more of a Boolean thing just so that I can do this. I can count, go back to what it was. I'll put a condition around it. So, um, if search Try this anyway. I mean, it might not work very well anyway. Okay, why are you complaining? I know, but it's on an if. It's a boolean with an else. Stop it. Okay, so at the moment it's not a search. Um, oh, I did a... I was wondering why I lost the focus there. Because... the import that's why Brr. I should be more careful with my rollbacks okay autofocus equals focus what 
to focus. Stop complaining about that, please. Okay. Uh, and then on my list inputs, I am currently just doing focus. Okay. So it's focusing now. And now. Let's make it a search as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to need some styling. <laughs> okay. That's interesting, though, that it doesn't even have an icon and stuff. I thought the search did by d d default. So what's the use in that? Hmm. Okay. Not that I've used one of them before. But let's um let's fix that up. Okay. So I'm using input type text there. Well, I guess we're just going to, for the moment, have to do the same thing again. Might have to... Obvious. Okay. Okay. Why? Why the bad coloring? Oh. That's really not going to work. Background color. Hmm. Why is that different? I haven't got anything else there. Hmm. Okay, let's go have a look. And it works. Okay. So that's interesting. So it does actually work. But not in Wales, maybe. Let's just bounce it. I'll take that down. Let's see what happens. Nope. Hmm. Huh. So I have a feeling I have a feeling that might be an issue with uh, WebKit or something.
Let's have a look. Uh, dink. Why is that? Right, for starters, why are we over here? I went over there, thanks. Okay. Let me go see a bit more now. Okay, so that's working there. Yeah. Things okay there, bar the background. That's correct. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess that's a no-go then, for the moment. I don't know why that's not working, because it says it should. So it's possibly a rendering issue. <laughs> well, at least I can see that, though. See, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting there to be search stuff. Right, okay, that's when you do the input, so... You have to start typing. But that's not working there. Or is it? I just can't see it. No? Curious. Hmm, I wonder. Um wonder if there's a difference then. Let me have a quick look at. Uh, I'll just do this. Let's see what it comes up with. There we go.
differences. The main basic differences come in the way about a handle them. Okay. not really giving me what I need there. I don't think there's any real reason for it not rendering the right colours. So I might have to put that to the side for the moment. Doesn't do the thing, see. No. Okay. Um All right, so I don't even need. What to focus? I 
Let's try that. Um, right, so a couple of things here then. Uh, for starters, uh, let's get shot that and bring it down to a reasonable size, he says, if you can grab it. But it can't because he didn't put a big enough border on it. So we'll just kill it. Uh, okay, what I want to do is I want to do a quick test of two things here. Uh, first, let's put that Uh, we're going to delete that. We're going to call this autofocus. And then here, we're just going to use that. And we'll see if that works. Um, and for the time being, well, I'm not going to call it search either. This might clash, I guess. We'll see in a sec. I wonder if it will say hey, you can't add that to a custom component or not. But we'll find out. I haven't got much time left. Oh, it worked. Okay. Let's stick on the ID page. And then... So let's double check. Taking that out, save, and it doesn't focus, that's good. That's important to me because one of the features of Snippet Pixie is that you can pick whether you want the search to be auto-selected when you're doing a search and paste window, <clears throat> or whether you want the list of snippets to be selected straight away. Um, so it's just a speed thing if you already if you know that you're generally going to be picking the first item anyway um so but i'm going to do that for the moment <clears throat> so we've got that and then type but we don't get a search control there um and then Yeah, and then if we do search, yeah, it does focus. But for whatever reason, we're not getting styling. We do get the search control though. Uh, let's do um, this. In GB. I 
I'm going to have to do a bit of clean up in here at some point. At the moment, let's design to the mess. Should probably do ellipses there, but I don't know how to do that on my keyboard. So. Uh, so we'll do that and then doing that and then on the input just gonna put a blank placeholder <laughs> Oh, I wonder why that's oh. Um how do I do the import again? Is it's not picking it up for some reason. I think I've killed it. It's better. Okay. Right, well, I'm out of time really anyway. Um, but so my next thing to do is to fix this styling. Um, or find, or if I can't, then I'm going to have to band on that. But that's what I'd like. Um, and then hook it up so that it changes the list of uh, snippets. So, yeah, it's a bit perplexing that. And it's also a little bit annoying that it semi works over here. It's kind of, doesn't have the, uh, the control there. So obviously for whatever reason, Firefox doesn't, decorate it um, with an imp with the uh, clear search which is strange um, I'm guessing it's just treating it as an input doesn't understand search maybe But that's not an issue, considering we're working on a WebKit based app as such. But that is annoying that I can't get styling on there. Anyway. We'll have to do that another day because I'm out of time. I'll have to have a little 
bit of research and see if I can find out why that is and um, see if anyone else has hit it and found a solution. Um, so uh, until thank you very much and until next time, uh, take care.